Hello guys, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to another Project Cars video. So in this video I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay from the new Project Cars DLC which is around the Ruapuna Park uh, International Raceway. The first thing that struck me about this DLC was how the hell do I pronounce that name? So I'm going to go with Ruapuna Park but please do correct me if I'm wrong on that. So with this DLC you're going to get five, well not five tracks, one track but with five layouts. I'm going to be driving the GP layout which is the longest one of the five and you also get three cars including well all three are Audis the A1 Quattro, the R8 LMP900 and the 1989 Audi 90 IMSA GTO which is the car you see here which I'm going to be driving through this video now this track actually I've never heard of it before this DLC came out it's in New Zealand um, a country probably not very well known for its motorsport pedigree but they do obviously have some motorsport there and this is the track itself so I'm going to go into the this view cam above the car I did try the, in, uh, the inside of the car but the window wipers were in the way and I just could not see anything so I just thought I'll go with this view so going into the first corner here this is a really it, this track is actually really quite a decent track and it really flows quite nicely it's uh, not the widest track in the world it's not exactly your F1 standard racetrack like Spa or something but it does have a nice flow and it really suits this kind of car like uh, this is in the Trans Am class and I would say this would be good for any sort of touring car uh, tin top racing series so coming into the infield here this is a really tricky section so you have this really uh, tight right and left uh, chicane or uh, right left I'm not, I'm not sure that's quite a chicane, but this corner is probably the hardest one on the whole circuit. You've got this really long right hander, and it's really hard to judge exactly where you have to start accelerating. And then we come into a nice right hand hook corner. You see, I missed the apex there a lot, and coming through the left hander. Back onto the final corner now, on the back straight, coming up into a 180 degree left hander. Now, I am using the Thrustmaster F1 wheel for this. Um, probably the best, probably better to use the wheel than the controller. And of course, you can see the, the replay camera at the bottom of the screen. Now coming to the first corner, this is really tough to get right because you're, you're braking and turning at the same time. You can see there, I get all out of shape and the guy in second manages to catch up with me quite a lot. But that's probably the hardest thing to get right in this game for me, trying to break in a straight line or trying to break uh, way turning sometimes you sort of have to do that around that corner is it is a curve so you have to break in a in a curve which makes it really difficult so through the through the hairpin through the tight hairpin go over to the left hand side try and get close but I lock up again and go a little bit wide fortunately it's really uh, a narrow circuit so even if the guy does get close you can cover the inside and there's not a lot of room that he can go into so this corner has a lot of runoff from the exit. Dip into that to maximise your track width. I get a little bit closer to that apex this time. Run the width of the exit and I get a little bit closer to that one. So I'm improving and then use the full width of the track there. I didn't get a track warning, track limits warning. So quite clearly you can take that amount of width on the exit there. So a late apex there onto the main straight. And we're going to change into the chase cam just for one lap. It's been actually quite a while since I've driven in the chase cam. In the, well, I don't actually do it in this game because it's quite hard with the wheel. It doesn't, doesn't quite feel right driving the chase cam with the wheel. Normally I go interior or on the hood cam. It feels a lot better. But actually it's not, not too bad in this game. Um, so coming in, coming in again into the hairpin get a late, late apex. I always try to get um, late apex on hairpins which gives you a better run out of the corner. Um, as the old passage says, slow in fast out. That definitely does apply here and it does in most racing games. And come in again, a late apex again so you can get more speed coming out of the corner which makes you harder to overtake as you get into the next corner. But you can see here making a mistake so it's very well uh, trying to drive with a late apex and get speed out but if you make a mistake then you're going to be slow anyway so second place nearly overtakes me but 
we are just going to about cover the inside here. And he's not going to have to do anything around the last corner. So let me know what you think of the uh, DLC so far. And what I think it's quite a good little track. And I'm glad that they're bringing out track DLCs. That is what we want really. I know there's limited cars in this game, but tracks are always good. So let me know what you think. Hit the like button if you like the video. 100 likes would be good. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you next time.